All right. Went out to my mailbox today and look what I got there. Zombie tools. So what shall we find? I've never done a reveal uh, video, so this will be my first one. So, yep. It is on there real good. Zombie Tools Mauler. Pick this up because I like crambits. And I've been looking at this for a hot minute. And I was intrigued by it. And since I couldn't afford the T-Rex off of their uh, website, I decided to go with this. Nice Kydex sheath. They quick loop, belt loop attachment. Opens up like that. Snap down. From my understanding, it comes wrapped and uh, oiled real well. So, ooh, that is sharp. So you can see the wrap job on there. It's got like a shrink wrap on it. Crampet style blade. There. Now, when I was first looking at it, I was a little concerned about the the handle. It looked awfully small. You know, I got the, I got some pretty good sized hands. However, this seems to fit pretty good. Pretty good. Boy, that is a that is a wicked blade. That is a heck of a point on there. Now this it's almost like it's got a false edge on the back, but it is pretty sharp. If you can see that. That's pretty wicked. Zombie tools right there. Now I don't plan on doing any any torture tests with this because I want to carry this and obviously I don't want to ruin it. But that handle feels pretty good. It is pretty sharp. I imagine that that would do some pretty good damage if I ever, ever, heaven forbid, ever have to use it. I think that would more than do its job. So 
we'll get to finish that cool uh, uh, battle-worn apocalyptical apocalyptical is that even a word finish on it looks pretty cool the handle looks like it's been I think it's made to look like it's used heavily used Decent leather wrap right there. It feels comfortable in the hand. It feels real comfortable in the hand. It's pretty well balanced. I think I'm going to enjoy this knife. I am not. I am not disappointed. I don't think this thing does it justice. Well, let me. Let me see if I can do a comparison size for you. So there's the Mauler. And this is my Microtech Combat Troodon. You can see that it is uh, lengthwise, it's pretty close, but I think the Mauler's bigger. The blade is much larger than the much larger than the Combat Troodon. So, just for a size comparison, for those who don't know what a combat troodon is, here is a sharpie for comparison. So you can see it's a it's a pretty good size knife. It's actually the smallest knife that uh, Zombie Tools makes, <clears throat> but it's still a really decent size. I think Zombie Tools motto is go big or go home right so this is a really uh, really substantial blade that handle like I said the, the handle looked looks like it is small um, and, and you can see I mean there are my hands right there but the way they have it designed and the way they have it wrapped it fits perfectly this is a really really good feeling knife I, I, I think it feels real good in the hand got some girth to it look at the look at the the width of that blade that is gnarly that is a thick piece of steel there folks I've got another crambit I got an Emerson uh, folding crambit which I enjoy I, I really like that knife as well um, it's a folder so I guess it's apples and oranges but um, I think this Krambit might be my new favorite Krambit. So, it is very cool. That is a very cool knife. It is much beefier than my, my folding Krambit, my Emerson Krambit. Obviously, it's a folder, but, and this is a fixed blade, but, um, this thing is very substantial. I mean, it just, it feels like just one big solid piece of steel. It is very well built. You know, oh, very nice. I like it. I really like it. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. Uh, I think they uh, they sell this for about a hundred, around one hundred ninety dollars on Zombie Tools. Uh, it came relatively quickly. Let's see. Today is um, August twenty third, and I want to say I ordered this. Uh, at the beginning of the month, and they said that um, the wait time on these was uh, six to eight weeks. It obviously has not been um, six to eight weeks. It came really fast. So if uh, you're holding off on buying this because of the wait time on the website, uh, don't. And even if it does take that long, it is well worth it. This is a very, very nice, very nice knife. I am very impressed. This is my first zombie tool uh, knife, weapon, anything. And I do believe I will be purchasing from them in the future. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent example of a, of a blade. So, anyways, that's all I got for you guys. If you liked it, hit like. Uh, and uh, leave a comment if you want me to do more knives in the future. So, alright you guys. Peace out. Have a good one.